morning everyone. It's uh, Tuesday morning. It's about five minutes to seven. I've uh, been up early enough. I had a rough night sleeping uh, just from the jet lag in the last few days. So I wake up from about 3, 3.30 in the afternoon till about 1. Got up and did some editing and work and that till about 3.30 and then I went back to bed for an hour or two and I just turned out of my homestay or that I'm staying at and I turned to the left instead of the right and just to take a look at this part of the area what I'm looking for is something for like a breakfast like a uh, chia, chai or tea or coffee or something like that just see if we can find some chia there's a lot of little tiny shops opening up they're all over the place. They're all little places. A few breakfast places I've sort of seen. There's some uh, chickens outside, a uh, place with eggs. And uh, the sun's up. It's a nice, colorful building right there. Now, I noticed when I was looking out of my room, I have a nice view of a mountain and that. And in the mornings you get the, they hear these bells and then they uh, they light these uh, these uh, e candles and they they say their prayers in the morning so you hear that going off every few minutes someone else said I saw a lady sitting on uh, up on her back balcony doing it so there's a nice building right there see the incense going on the top there's like, like I said, every couple of feet there are these tiny little shops, you know. It seems like they're selling like a lot of the same stuff. Wade House and Bank Cake. Bank it. I'm just taking a stroll around in the morning first. Today we're going to be meeting up with the two other people that's going on the Langtang Trek with myself. Uh, Michael and uh, Tamara. Tamara's getting in this morning around 5 I think. And uh, Michael was in the day before me, so I met up with him. Uh, Agenda, we had a, I had a bottle of water, and he had a coffee, and and uh, we just chatted a bit, set up plans today. Our the mission is we're gonna look for our um, Satan bag and our uh, down coats for when we head off to the Lang Tang Trek. So we're gonna do that as a group. And, uh, Namaskar. Yeah, so it's a nice, beautiful morning. It looks like it's going to be sunny again. I looked at my phone and it said it was going to rain a bit. So hopefully it stays off. Like, uh, you see dogs everywhere. That's another thing I might want to pick up. See if I find some dog biscuits. Just to keep them in my pockets so that when I see a little doggy, a little doggo. There's a barber shop there. Maybe I can go get my hair trimmed a little when I come back from the Lang Tang trek because I won't didn't bring a shaving kit so keep the beard all trimmed up. Morning sir. Morning, how are you? I'm good, sorry. Very nice people are finally here. There's a bear shop opening up. I'm not really sure what time everything gets started so it must be early enough. Um because I'd say they get going around 6 in the morning, start setting up for the day. Here's a school bus coming down, there's a doggo looking for some treats. It's from Edinburgh. <laughs> I wonder if they got that from there. Or is it sponsored from them? Here's a normal shop. He's preparing his meals for the day. Some big houses here. Uh, flower pot stands get made, I guess. I see people with a lot of masks on. It's not the COVID thing. It's to deal with more with the dust. 
because the streets are dusty when it's there's a nice ornate day gate see you can see the very dusty so when you get a lot of traffic with the bikes and the cars and trucks and buses going on it smokes up so a lot of people will have masks or scarves and keep it on them see the shops I don't want to go too far, I don't want to get lost. I think I'll make a, I understand where I'm going. One cafe. Chow mein's pretty big here, fried rice. So I might try that one day. Hi, Barber. Get the products ready for selling. Those kids get into an Edinburgh school bus. And Taylor getting ready for sewing so, so machine. Hot and spicy. So my first impressions of the Tamo district is a lot of shops, a lot of stuff here, but you have to watch the prices. I think they tend to go with the high price, see if they get you in. I don't know. Like another cool, my school of thought is if you convert it in your head what the, the amount is that they're at, if it's reasonable, you know, I don't mind paying for it. I just don't like being over recharged. Like, the shirt I got on was, I guess about four, five euros, but that was with the, uh, the Nepal pin they gave me. So that, that's reasonable, you know? Like, I know a local probably would pay a lot less. So here's some chicken that's sitting there, and then that's their fate. So we're just walking along here, Kira's Bakery. Oh, and then there's seats in here. Might be an option. Get a Chia. There's little doggos. There's dogs everywhere. This one has a collar on him though, but... A little nervous. Doesn't look good. I don't think his owner's around. Namaste. Yeah, so I think I'll walk to the end of this road. Turn off the camera, go back, and we'll head towards the, uh, the main part of the, the city in the Tamil area. See if we meet up with the, the lads, get a chia. If I find a place that, it's, that I'm going to have a breakfast with or something, I'll turn on the, uh, the GoPro back on. Just walking around trying to take in all the sights. And all the sounds, smells. There's always a hint of incense in the air. Like little alleyways and roadways. Really interesting. Now, I think they were getting plates of offerings. I don't think that was like a meal that she was getting from there because I seen another man. I think they prepare offerings for uh, you know you see them around with with the, the shrines everywhere and they put the offering in and then they put the tikka on which is the little the little red spot and with the rice and stuff on your forehead i'll be doing that sometime during these 30 days coming up so 
make sure that you uh, subscribe so you get to see all these different adventures uh, that's coming around, you know. I have lots planned and uh, a lot of it's going to be unplanned and just jump up at us. So, really uh, looking forward to the, the rest of this trip and also Lang Tang Trek. I'm really looking forward to that. So we'll just go to the end of this street and then I'll work on my way back. Guys preparing jackets. What do we have here? They're all dairy products. Put the bags of milk, I think, a flour. Or And there's another whole street down here. So <laughs> <laughs> with the uh, the burning rubber in the machine shop there. We'll go to the end of the street. Hopefully I don't get lost. I'm doing a lot of turns now. I have to remember which way I land, like left, right, left, right. I can always uh, play back the old GoPro and do it backwards. I think it's a bit sore, but I worked that out. And then I could always take the rickshaw or something to the tunnel area. It's another option. A whole bunch of candles being lit over there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is going to turn it off now, head back towards there, and if I see a spot to get a cup of chai, chia, I'll turn it back on. So I've wandered around, took a few turns, so I'm now in a different area. I was trying to get back, and I took a wrong turn, but I came up to this like open fruit mark, a benchmark, and then there's something here. It's all in. It's all in the Bowie, so I'm not really sure exactly what it said. There's prices. I think it might be a school. Like there's some high prices there, so I don't know. Like 8,000 rupees, 200. So I don't know what, what exactly it is. So in the comment section, if you know what it is, maybe I'll ask Kendra. And then it's right across from the Organic Cafe, Beans Cafe. So there might be a place to get a coffee. Sam, Sam. Namaste. Namaste. This is coffees. I don't know. There's only one man in there. And then the work in there it doesn't look too busy. Everyone's just gathering around getting their stuff. Now the flowers are big for their offerings. You see the mountains in the back. I don't know if the GoPro picks up, but the clouds. Here's the back part. There's a small stoop in there. So I don't know what it is. Uh, I think we're gonna come across the other side of it. So we'll see. Looks really neat. I'll wait till we get to the end and turn it back on. I just saw in there there was a bunch of ladies. They have the the, um, the prayer wheels. And you hear them playing music in the background. Chanting, and I think it's a, there's a youth club. So I wonder if that's what it was. It's a youth club. Because you've seen kids in the back and like young men working out and stuff. So maybe it's a, a spiritual type of youth club, you know? And it's pretty neat. 
just by uh, taking uh, the wrong paths. There's your man over there, so we'll keep going. We'll head uh, this way to the left. Okay, I think I'll stop it here. Saroti? Saroti. Yeah. Yeah. Saroti. Oh, so we'll sit here and we'll wait for the chia and the saroti. There's music playing there, so I'll turn it off for now. And then we'll head to the room, check the upload, and then we'll get going. I have a friend here that's we're going on night time trek tomorrow. So we're going to be... Uh, there's three of us, there's two other people are joining us. Mm. One is from Israel, mm. and the other is from Netherlands. Wow. So the, we're taking a private jeep from here to Cedar Bessie mm. tomorrow. And then, then I'm going all over in a lot of places, like 30 days is a long time to stay. So I should get a lot of stuff. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So here, got my uh, celery tea and my chai, so cheers. I'm gonna, Taste there, it's nice and warm. Mm. Very good. Approves. We get stuck in on this and we'll get going. Okay, so my friend from Japan here. What's your name? Mayuko. Mayuko? Mayuko. Mayuko. She offered me one of these, so we're gonna give them a dip. You dip it in or just eat it? Yeah, maybe you we can dip it in. Give it a shot. It's hard to explain. Yes. It's not, not a donut. Yeah, not sweet. No, it's like it tastes like a crunchy Yorkshire pudding. I don't know, it's like a doughy. But I like it. It's good though. And uh, the, the chia is really good. Very good. Turn off and uh, finish it up. Well, that's all done. The chia was very good, and so was the, the pastry that goes with it. So now I'm going to head off and pay for it, and then head. I've got a new subscriber, and right? she's on the phone. Um, and she's actually staying at the same place, same building. I didn't even know. Um, small world. So, okay, cool. I'll go pay for it and see how much it costs. Hello. Uh, pay for that. I'll pay for, I'll pay for hers too. Katio? Uh, well, Dwi? Dwi? How much is it? Hundred. Uh, hundred. Hundred. Um. So five hundred. One to one hundred. One hundred? Yeah. Okay. No, no. no. This one, two, two, two. Do you have a, how much? This one, one hundred. For the two? Yes. Okay. Danya bad. Which one like you? Which one like you? Which one? Fully on that. Ah. All right. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. See you. Very nice. So that was for my chai, my sao roti, her sao roti and chai. Chia, sorry, keep saying chia, chai. It's watching all the Hindu videos, and then the uh, three pieces of the things that came to 100 rupees. 
which is like 85 cents so definitely value for your money uh, well worth it and uh, nice place I have to practice up my old uh, Nepali but it'll come but it was a great time and we'll just walk up to our guest house and uh, put away my uh, my perfume I got from the uh, market I picked it up um, just because I don't really have any roll on I didn't bring it with me and with the temperature here and the sweating this of that I'll probably need it come in handy so now I'll just make my way to my uh, my uh, homestay and then we'll head down towards Tamil.